Well, hey guys, welcome to Tabletop Baseball. Today I'm going to be playing game 25 of the Sandy Koufax replay. He's 15 and 6. That's a good pitching matchup. Jim Bunning versus Sandy Koufax. And the actual game, pretty amazing stuff here. Phillies, Dodgers won it 2 to 1. And Koufax pitched 11 innings. Yeah, 11 innings. Four hits, one run, three walks, 16 strikeouts. I believe that's a season high, 16. And one home run, uh, Dick Allen off from the Phillies hit the home run. So another home run given up by Koufax, but it was a solo shot, obviously. I'm doing this offline. So we're going to get going. Here's Cookie Rojas. For the Phillies, 5-6, he's a right-hander, and that's a strikeout. John Briggs, lefty-lefty, 3-7, and he will draw a walk. Not much of a steal threat. Harvey Keene, first inning, let's hit away. 5-5, five, five, right-hander. That's a big strikeout. Strikeout number two. See if he can reach 16 like he did in real life. And there's Dick Allen, the man that hit the home run. 3-5. Three, 3-5 five. Three, five versus a lefty, my bad. 1-11 to 11 triple. If I use the original roll, it would be a triple, but I don't. 20, so it's a double, no stars. Double to center. Center fielder is Willie Davis. He's a minus one. Briggs. <clears throat> C stealer in, in advance, so I typically hold on. Anything but an E. It's pretty much my rule of thumb. Okay, so uh, a double to center. And he was a, he's a one to fourteen. And again, I forgot center fielder Willie Davis minus one, so that's a thirteen. That's a twelve, one to fourteen. And it is a one, so he will score from first base. RBI single for Dick Allen, or double, RBI double. And two down here, Jackie Brandt. 3-5, struck him out. So three strikeouts in the inning, but a walk and a double. That walk, those walks will hit, hurt you more times than not. Jim Barbieri is the leadoff man for the Dodgers. 4-7, Bunnings a righty, and he's a lefty, 4-7, one's a double, anything else, it's a two, so close, close, but he's going to fly it out to left, there's one out, here's Maury Wills, 1-10, fouls out to first. Two down, Willie Davis, 6-9, lefty, shortstop X, shortstop is Lenz, 488, I don't know how many times I've written down an 80 something or higher, that's 4 and a 16, a good roll there, G2, and then a 16 on an 88. What do you know? That's an error on the shortstop. Lens. I was going to look. How many games did he play? You figure that out? No. I mean, 88 errors, if that's the actual number. Um, You know, if he played in 88, you know, 
one game, one error per game. It's got to be at least. So here's Dick Stewart. Willie Davis at first. Is he a steal threat? Willie, let's try to get Willie a lead here. Two through five, 11, 12. It's a four, so he does get the good lead. Bunning's a plus two. And Euchre is a plus one. That's plus three. Minus two is going to be a plus one. Uh, plus one, so a one to 18. 14, good stolen base for Willie Davis. Now Dick Stewart. Man on second. That's a 4-6 uh, versus a right-hander. That's going to be a base hit. That'll score the run. 4-6, 1-3 triple. Single two stars. So the error comes back to haunt the Phillies. RBI for Dick Stewart. And he's a first. He's not going to steal. They're not going to hold him on. There's two outs. John Roseboro with a 5-7. And he's a lefty and he will strike out. Dodgers tie it up. 1-1. One one. Top of two. Here's Bob Euchre. 4-6. He's a right-hander. Might want to look on Koufax's card. It's ground out to third. Bill White, lefty, lefty. 5-8. Ground ball to second X. Second baseman is Kennedy of 317. 15 on a three. So G G1. And then a seven on a seventeen. Second base, 17. He will make the play. So two down, and here's old Phil Lenz. Playing shortstop, a 488. 1 5 versus a lefty, and he will strike out. Not a big shock there. Bottom of two. Ron Fairley, 3-6 versus a right-hander, a ground out to second. Jim Gillum, the third baseman today, 5-7. He'll be batting left. He's a switch hitter. Struck him out. So two away, John Kennedy. Base is clear. 3-6 versus a right-hander. Struck him out. Jim Bunning, the Hall of Famer. And he will lead it off here in the third inning. 1-1 one, one ball game. 2-2. Two, two. Fouls out to the catcher. Now Cookie. 4-4. Four, four. He's a right-hander, uh, singles check, 4-4, four, 1-6, four. it's a 20, it's a big line out to short, two away John Briggs, 2-4, <clears throat> versus a lefty, and he'll strike out. Strikeout number five for Koufax through three. And Koufax will lead it off. Five nine. Versus a right-handed pitcher. Struck him out. Or versus a, I gotta look on Bunning's card. What am I doing? I'm looking at here as that that's just not his badger's card. Here's his badger's card. Five nine. And it's a ground out to short. Koufax bats right-handed. Jim Barbieri. It's a 3-6 versus a righty. Grounds out to first. Two away, Maury Wills. 
six seven lefty struck him out strikeout number four for bunning top of the fourth Harvey Keen. one nine versus a lefty flies out to left And here's Dick Allen. He doubled in the first and scored a, it was an RBI double. 5-6. He's a right-hander. He will strike out this time. Strikeout number 6. 10 more and it'll equal his real life total. Jackie Brandt, 4-5. Five, five. Right-hander. 4-5. Another strikeout. Second time for Brant. Bottom of four. Willie Davis. 4 8. And he's a lefty, and it's a ground ball to second. Handled easily. Dick Stewart singled his first time up. 5 7. And he's a right hander. 5 7 is a strikeout. Roseboro, 4-2, lefty, 1-9 uh, single, it's an 18, he'll line it out to second. Top of the fifth, Bob Euchre, 3-8 versus the left-hander, fly out to left. Lefty lefty Bill White. 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four is a singles check. 1 to 6. Lefties or righties. It's an 8. He'll line it out to second. Two down. Here's Mr. Lenz. 3-10 versus a lefty. He pops out to second. Both pitchers cruising, bottom of five, Ron Fairley, 4-7, lefty, wants a double, anything else, he'll fly out, so he will fly out, to left, and there's Jim Gillum, struck out his first time, 1-8, one 1-8's eight. One going to be a walk, so he will reach. We have a base runner, D. Steeler, John Kennedy, 3-8 versus a right-hander is a strikeout. Two down, here's the man, Kofax, 1-6, and he strikes out. Jim Bunning. Keeping pace. Strike out. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. For Bunning. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven apiece. If you're keeping score. Let's see if Kofax can get another one here. Take the lead. Jim Bunning, the batter. Five, eight. Bunning is a right hander. Five, eight. And it's a ground ball to second X. Bunning says, not me. 317. And it's a two on a three. Single. SI2. 13 on a 17. Single for Bunning. So Jim Bunning, not only does he not strike out, he hits a single. Rojas will bunt. They'll be expecting he'll be a B. And it's a seven that I believe is a good bunt. It is a good sacrifice bunt. Moves bunting over. Here's John Briggs. He's got a lefty lefty matchup here. Two and a three. Balk rating. 
balk. Zero for Koufax and no balk. The 6-11, lefty, lefty matchup, 6-11. Second base, A. Round ball to second. But that's going to move Bunning to third. Two down, here's Harvey Keene. Clutch time, 4-8. He's a right-hander, and that is the old strikeout, 4-8. Koufax takes the lead in the strikeouts, 8-7 to seven now. And I didn't put a zero down there for them. And fifth, I got busy. So bottom of sixth. Still 1-1. One, one. First inning was busy. Nothing since. Top of the order, Jim Barbieri. 4-5 versus a lefty. Catcher, or no, 4-5. 1-4 is a... He has weak power, so it will not be a home run. 1-4, single. 5-20, to 20, double. Double. Double for Barbieri. So the Dodgers are in business. Uh, let's hit away. He's on second base. It's a 1 6 versus right hander. 1 to 13, 1 star single. But it's a 16. He lines it out. And there's one away. Here's Willie Davis. Need a base hit here. Most likely a 4 7. Lefty. One's a double. Anything else, he's going to fly it out to left. Flies out to left. Down to Dick Stewart. Lead off double. Liner fly out. 6 7. He's a right hander, and that's going to be a ground out to third. Inning over. So the leadoff doubles wasted by the two, three, four hitters of the Dodgers. We'll move to the seventh. Five two, Dick Allen, second base X. Kennedy again. He is a three seventeen. Ten on a three. It's a G two, and then an eight on a seventeen. We'll make the play this time. Up Jackie Brandt. 410. And he is a right hander. Shortstop X. Four ten shortstop X. Wills. Three twenty seven. And that is a 20 on a 3 is a G1 and then a 14 on a 27. Maury will make the play. Two down, nobody on. Here's Bob Euchre. 211. 211 versus A. And Bob Euchre found the home run check, but it, he is a right hander. It's 1 to 4. And he will not do it. It's a liner or it's a nine. It's a fly out to left. And that ends the inning. All right, so we got to start the top of the seventh over because I realized I read uh, Dick Allen's result off Jim Bunning's card. It ended up being a three up, three down inning, but let's try it again correctly. So here's Dick Allen for real. 2-6. Two, 2-6, six. Two, six, he'll fly it out to center. So Jackie Brandt. Still a 1-1 one, one ball game. 6-6. Six, six. He's a right-hander. We're down here. 1-15 will be a single. 
And it's a nine, so single for Brandt. With one out, he's not going to be held on. He's an E-stealer. 6-10 for Bob Euchre. Fly ball center field X. Center fielder is Willie Davis. He's a 2-12. Two and a 6. He is an F2. And then a 12 and a 9 on a or an 8 on a 12. He'll make the play. And runner will hold. Two down. And here's Bill White. 1 7 versus a lefty, and that is going to be a strikeout. As Brand is not in scoring position. There are two outs, but he's not in scoring position, so it is a strikeout. So, nothing for the Phillies in the seventh. Still tied up, 1-1. 4-8 one, one. for Roseboro. He's a lefty. Rounds it out to second. There's Ron Fairley. 4-8. We just have that, 4-8. Another lefty, grounds out to second. There's a different way to get to the eight, but we got there. Switch hitter Gillum, he's going to be batting left, 4-7. So two four eights and a 4-7. On the left-hand side, it's going to be a one's a double. He does not get it. Flies out to left. Eighth inning. Still one to one. All the action in the first inning. See if Phil Lenz can get on a 4 4 versus a right hander. He's got a chance. 4 4 single ballpark check singles. And he will not get it. It will be a line out to short. That brings up Jim Bunning. So, uh, decision time for the Phillies. Let's go Dick Grote. Base is clear. Pinch hitting will be Dick Grote. 1-6. That's not where you want to go. 1-6 is a fly up to center. And we have two away. Base is clear. Back to the top of the order. Cookie Rojas. 1 2 versus a lefty. 1 to 11 single. 15. So he lines it out to short. Bottom of the eighth inning. So in the actual game, they went with Daryl Knowles. Daryl Knowles. So he will come off to face the right-hander John Kennedy. That's a 4-8 versus a righty. Struck him out. Koufax, he is going to hit. 1-8. Struck him out. 2Ks for Knowles. Starting off good. Here's a Barbieri lefty. Lefty lefty matchup. 3 7. And he'll fly it out to center. So we'll move to the ninth. Still 1 1. 2 3 4 for the Phillies. 1 6. And 1 6 is a single for John Briggs. Leadoff man is on. And Harvey Keene, he's going to bunt. They'll be expecting it. He's a C. And it's a... And it's a 7. 
And I need to get the butt chart. C and a seven is a good sack all the way across. So now Dick Allen. He's got the only RBI for the Phillies. It's a 2-8 versus a lefty. He will strike out. So big strike out there for Koufax. Two down. Jackie Brandt. 6-8 righty. And 6-8 is a strikeout. So back-to-back -back big strikeouts after the leadoff single and sacrifice. Nothing deal for the Phillies. Bottom of the ninth inning. Tie ball game. One to one. And it's Maury Wills, the number two hitter today. A 110 versus a lefty. He'll ground it out back to the pitcher, Gerald Knowles. Now here's Willie Davis. Another lefty lefty matchup. 6-9. And Willie gets on. Walk. Way to work the count, Willie. All right, here's Dick Stewart. Not very good in the bunt department. Um, let's go to the bench. So Dick Stewart out. Wes Parker in. He's going to be called on to bunt. He'll be a B bunter. Actually, I should have checked for a wild pitch on that last sacrifice. Uh, let's see. But I did an eight. Um, an eight for Wes Parker. He's a B. It is a good sack. So I probably shouldn't have done that. Two outs. Willie Davis at second. Base hit wins it. It's four six. Lefty lefty struck him out. Hmm. Yeah, I uh, kind of dropped the ball on that one. Top of the tenth. They went to extras in real life. So Bob Euchre, 311 versus the lefty. Rounds it out to first. Bill White, 5-2. The lefty, another ground ball to first. Bill Lenz. 6-7 versus a right-hander. Struck him out. So we're through 10. Nine and a half anyway. Nine and a half. Gerald Knowles trots back out. Ron Fairley, it's a lefty lefty matchup. 2 5. 2 5. It's going to be a double or a single. 1 to 16, double. 6 double for Fairley. You know what? I'm going to make a change real quick. Phil Lenz is coming out. I already used Dick Groat. Didn't I? I need better defense. It's short. Bobby Wine's going to come in and play short. Wine will come in. He's playing shortstop now a little better defensively. We have a leadoff double by Fairley. 
And here's Jim Gillum. The 2 8. Ground ball to the pitcher B. Um, to the pitcher B. Runner second, a six. Fit the first or second batter out of runner advance one base. Other by, otherwise, runner holds. So one out, Jim Gillum. I mean, John Kennedy. That was Jim Gillum. John Kennedy looking for that base hit. 5-8, righty. Second base X. Second baseman is Rojas at 215. 7 on a 2. Is a G2. And a 12 on a 15. There is no 12. G2. Runner is second. Hit to right. Runner will advance, I would assume. Batters out, runner advances. I know you're supposed to increase the range on the bat or on the fielder that's supposed to be holding the runner on if you're holding him on. Um, I don't think, let's see, fairly. I'm going to consider them not holding him on, but so. Second base, you know, first base, I'm not going to hold an E on, is my rule of thumb. Second base, pretty much not holding anybody on unless they're like maybe an A or B, maybe. So now we have runner fairly at third and Koufax the batter. Let's go with Al Ferreira. Al Ferreira. Can he win the ball game here with the base hit? The one on the D20. Wild pitch. We may have a wild pitch walk off here. He's a one to ten. Ferreira might not even have to bat. One to ten. The twenty. So no wild pitch. So they escape. D20. Let's try it again. It's going to be off Ferreira. A 3 6. And he will walk. 3 6. Bases on balls. We're base on balls. First and third. And we have two down. Top of the order Jim Barbieri. He's a lefty. The lefty lefty matchup. Barbieri's actually going to come out, I think. He does not fare well versus left handers. Let's go with Tommy Davis. He'll stay in and play left. So Tommy Davis, the right-hander. I think the Phillies. Are going to counter. Let's go with Rick Wise. Rick Wise on the pitch. Tommy Davis at the plate. Runners at the corners. Two down. Base hit wins the ball game. A wild pitch. 6-6. Six, six. Right hander. And he gets him to pop it up to short. Through the tire of the side. And that ends the threat for the Dodgers. Now they will go to their bullpen. 
They'll be bringing Phil Regan. Came in in the actual game. Top of the 11. Koufax out of the game. Cookie Rojas. Actually, no, it's Jim. It's the pitcher spot. It is the pitcher spot. It's going to be Tony Gonzalez. Two three, two three. He'll ground it out to first. And back to the top, Cookie Rojas. Six eleven, righty. Right field X. Right fielder is fairly a two eight. Two and a four. I need to get the right chart. Right fielder, two and a four is an F one, and a fourteen on a four makes the play. Two down. John Briggs, and it's a five seven lefty. Struck him out. Regan with the big strikeout. Bottom of the 11th, new pitcher time for the Phillies. You got a switch hitter, lefty, switch hitter. Do they have, they have Chris Short. He is basically a starter. Can relieve. 39 starts. Ridiculous. Let's go with Chris Short. So Maury Wills, he's a switch hitter, batting right. 4-8. And that's going to be a leadoff hit. 1-2 to two triple, anything else he singles. And it's a 9, so single. Hold ratings is zero. And then you got Euchre to plus one, and so you got a minus one because he's being held on. Plus one, minus two is a minus one. One, two. First, we need to get a, see if he gets a lead. So make him a 14. If he gets a good lead. Seven. He does, two through ten. So one to 14. Five stolen base. The leadoff man is on second. Lefty lefty Willie Davis. 5-7. Second base X. Rojas 215. Two and a 19 is a G1. And then 11 on a what was he? 15? No, but the runner will advance. Runner on second. Hit to the right. So it's a ground out to second. Will's at third now. And here's Will. Or, um... Yeah, Wes Parker. Here's Wes Parker. Uh, the new left, or first baseman, excuse me, the new first baseman. Um, I think they're going to walk him. So the runners at the corners are going to play back. Versus a lefty-lefty matchup here, John Roseboro. Try for the double play, a 1-5. 
Ball game. Rose Borrow hits one back up the middle on a 1-5. Single to center, and that is the ball game. Walk off single. On the lefty-lefty matchup, it backfires against the Phillies. One run, two to one, final in 11 innings. Let's add up um, Koufax here. One, two, one, two, three, four hits. I see four hits, ten innings, four hits, one run, one earned. Walks and strikeouts, three and one, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, eleven Ks, one walk. No home runs. So let's compare lines here. Ten innings, four hits, one run, one walk, 11 strikeouts. In the actual game, 11 innings, four hits, one earned run, three walks, 16 strikeouts, and one home run to Dick Allen, which coincidentally, Dick Allen had the one RBI for the Phillies. No decision. Regan gets the win. He pitched the top of the 11th. And they scored in the bottom. So Regan will get the win. No decision for Koufax. Um, after this game, in actuality, he did not get the decision in this game either. So he was still, let's see, 17 and 5. In actuality, he was still sitting at 17 and 5 because no decision. So that's game 25. Thank you guys for joining me. We'll get back to some live Kofax next time. Until then, you guys take care and God bless.